सो देखो इट इज ऑलरेडी एट लेक्चर है ना एंड वी आर स्टिल स्टडिंग ग्रेडियंट डिसेंट सो आई थिंक आई रैप इट अप टूडे ओके सो एक इक्वेशन कल लिखा दी थी है ना आई विल टॉक अबाउट दैट इक्वेशन थ्रू सी एस टू थर्टी स्लाइड्स राइट नाउ एंड गिव यू सम इंट्यूशंस गिव दोज इक्वेशंस विच आर यूज इन अदर मेथड्स एंड मूव ठीक है तो आज के दिन में अब आई एम प्लानिंग टू फिनिश दीज ऑप्टिमाइजेशन एलगोरिदम्स जैसे भी नेक्स्ट वीक वी टेक अप रेगुलराइजेशन देन वी गो टू सी एन एंस राइट सो वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑल दिस ये सारी ये सारी इंट्यूशन क्लियर है ना बिकॉज सी देर आर टेंस ऑफ एलगोरिदम्स दट आर यूज मे बी मोर देन दैट इन दो फ्रेमवर्क दैट यू सी राइट सो वी वोट बी कवरिंग एवरीथिंग आई वॉन्टेड टू कवर दिस इन डिटेल बिकॉज ऑल दीज एलगोरिदम्स आर डूइंग समथिंग ऑफ दैट काइंड सम हाउ यू आर ट्राइंग टू मैनिपुलेट ग्रेडियंट्स ओके राइट सो what do we do is this thing fine all right so then in today's class we talk about these equations okay this is our lecture all right so let us talk about these two equations now so vdw this vdw is something that i am using for my updates so this quantity takes place of gradients here so then this quantity must be must be having dimensions of gradients only right because i am using it where i was using grad j now same thing here i have this quantity that comes here okay and uh, so how do we define these vdws now that's what we are going to do so what i'll do i think i'm not sure what should i do but let me go through these slides only so these are again the slides from cs230 stanford of uh, CS two thirty deep learning. All right. So, one more. Let me go to that example. right so what we will see here is yes 
So, this is what we are going to talk about today. The slides are from CS230, Stanford University. Logo? All right, chalo. So, we talk about exponentially weighted averages. Now, the reason I these need these slides is because you have all these curves here. Now, what we are doing in this case? V0 you define to be 0. Remember what were those equations that we had? V d w equal to beta times V d w plus 1 minus beta times d w that is the current gradient right. So, keeping beta equal to 0 0.9 we were saying that I will give 0 0.9 weightage to my moving average of gradients until now and remaining 0 0.1 point, point uh, remaining 10 percent to uh, my current gradients right. So, this is how things are happening. So, let us say as the example that he gives temperature in London. So, first day it was ok right. So, first day let us say it was this much, second day this much and so on. So, this is how you plot it ok. What is the red line? So, if you have just these blue points, how would you compute the average? So, these are blue points if I ask you do not give me these blue points rather give me a line graph right. One possibility is you join all these line graphs which is a worse possibility because then I will prefer my dots. So, how would you you know do this line here? So, what they propose here is you do so, so forget these things right now. You write V 1 in terms of V 0 and so what is V 0? That is the only thing we will have to change our notation a bit. What is V 0? See V 0 you initialize to 0. Theta 1 is your. So, current value. What is this? previous value ok. How are you writing V 2? I, I want you to have a look at here because this is what our equations are V 1 equal to 0 0.9. So, beta beta times V 0 plus 1 minus beta times d w. So, for us this is basically V d w and this is d w. How can you write V 2? Again 0 0.9 times whatever previous was. So, previous was V 1 plus 0 0.1 times the current value. So, you are in time step 2. So, this is theta 2, this is V 1 because this is coming from previous, this is coming from current time step and you are computing the value of current average. Okay. Keep on doing this. You will be able to write V t as 0 0.9 times v t minus 1 that is coming from previous plus 0 0.1 times the current. Is this equation fine? There is nothing special here, this should be fine. Is this ok? Right. Now, so this is the equation you get. Apne paas bhi kuch aise equation hai, momentum wali equation kya thi ek bar wapis bolna meko yaad nahi hai. V d w equal to beta times V d w plus 1 minus beta times d w exactly same right theta t is our d w because we are writing d w as my gradients in the current iteration right now. If I were using gradient descent what will I do? I will use the gradients right now to compute update. In this case what I am saying, 
टेन परसेंट ऑफ राइट नाउ एंड नाइंटी परसेंट ऑफ माई हिस्ट्री राइट बट हाउ मच हिस्ट्री सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन दी वैल्यू ऑफ बीटा नाउ नाउ If you put beta equal to 0.9, you roughly take last 10 days average. Okay. What if you take beta equal to zero? If beta equal to zero, this reduces to the the earlier gradient descent, right? The normal gradient descent. Beta equal to zero, that means you are not keeping any history. at all full weightage is just on current well now if beta is 1 if beta is 1 then i am ignoring my current value i am totally depending on the histories okay somewhere in between i give weightage to both these things now if you put beta equal to 0.98 right this gives you roughly 50 days average beta equal to 0.5 2 days okay now tell me what are these curves so none of us knows which curve is which one so i have my blue dots here i have three curves here green yellow and red you have to help me figure out which curve belongs to which beta so tell me how does red look like how is this red curve चलो रेड छोड़ो वो तो दिख भी नहीं रहा है अबाउट ग्रीन ऐसे वैल्यू मत दो मेरे को प्रॉपर्टीज बताओ ग्रीन की देर आर इंडिपेंडेंट कर्व देर इज ग्रीन कर टेल मी व्हाट इज दिस ग्रीन कर सो ग्रीन कर व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट ग्रीन कर वी वोंट डायरेक्टली टॉक विद yellow one or red one we can compare these three but when we are talking about green curve we are just talking about green curve or when we are talking about yellow curve we are just talking about yellow curve and same for red curve so what is which one nahi it is continuous wo जस्ट बिकॉज दे आर ओवरलैपिंग ऐसे तो आप ग्रीन को तो बिचारे को तो मतलब रेड वाला तो बिचारा है ही नहीं फिर कहीं दे आर ऑल कंटिन्यूअस अच्छा ग्रीन भी छोड़ो ये लो बताओ नहीं क्या बोल रहे हो हाँ okay that makes sense thank you anyone else tell me what is happening with yellow curve too many spikes so too many zigzag compared to green one let's say my temperature today is 25 degree celsius tomorrow it becomes 45 next day it becomes 28 then it becomes 42 fluctuations are too many so if my moving average right this is computing my moving average if my moving average is varying too much with current value i am giving a lot of weightage to current value does it make sense if i have too many ups and downs if i am very sensitive to these spikes current data current changes 
then I am giving too much weightage to to current value. So, yellow corresponds to which beta? 0.5. Next, what about green? Green is 0.9, green seems 0.98, right? So, green is 0.98 and then red. Now, help me figure out more about this, why? Why is green like that? If you are giving 98 percent weightage to your history, right? Will the drastic change in current value matter too much? Weightage is only 2 percent, right? So, it would not matter. In green case, it is not mattering. Even though you have these, um, you know, quite fluctuations, they do not change your green curve because those fluctuations are, you know, they, they are adding only up to 2 percent compared to history, ok. What about yellow? Yellow is too much susceptible to current value. So, it must be this one. Red one is somewhere in between. Like Harish rightly said, this is below these curves because I am still taking averages from here, right. But in case of red, when I am here, I am already see red is already here because it is taking care of only last 10 days of um, memory or history, right. So, V t can be approximately averaged over, so it simply says over 1 upon, so I am not going to derive this formula. You take beta and that gives you roughly, so history is roughly of 1 upon 1 minus beta days. So, when your beta is 0.9, compute whatever that is, 0 0.9, 0 0.1, 10 days, ok. So, these numbers are coming from that formula here. So, when beta was 0 0.5, you get 1 upon 0 0.5 which is 2. And why this? Chalo, kari lete hai How does this look like 1 upon 1 minus beta? Since we are calling it exponentially weighted averages, this should help. Ye, ye dekh ke familiar nahi lag kuch? Infinite GP, right? So, so things should be something like constant plus beta plus beta square plus beta cube plus beta to the power 4 and so on and beta is less than 1 for sure. So, 1 upon, so A upon 1 minus R alpha jo bhi bol rahe ho, right? So, that is what it is, ok? How is this, uh, I mean why should we care about this? Why should we care about this for our uh, gradient descent problem? No, why should we care about these things? Right, because we are saying we are going to use gradients from history, right. So, how much history you want to use? If you use too much history of gradients, then you are basically ignoring the current vector, ok. And if you are taking beta equal to 0 0.5, then you are giving too much weightage to the current vector. So, that is why we have seen that all these frameworks, TensorFlow, PyTorch, they use default value of beta equal to 0 0.9 that basically gives um, importance to last 10, but does it give equal importance? 
even in this history will importance be given equally to yesterday's temperature versus 10 days temperatures i mean 10 days ago equal weightage sure everybody understands the question my question is jab aap ye compute kar rahe ho beta is let's say 0.9 then we are agreeing that aap pichle 10 din ki history dekh rahe ho are you giving uniform weightage to every day's history okay so you are actually not now so we have talked about this curve <coughs> same thing as before is me <coughs> so same thing as before is me kuch bhi nahi tha this is what we had discussed and this is again same as what we have done before now if you write these equations just ignore this whole slide just concentrate on one of these this one maybe you can write v100 as v100 as whatever okay ek bar ab yahan pe dekh lete hain so 0.1 times theta 100 0.1 times theta 100 plus 0.9 times v99 the average of last step now how can i write v99 ha point so v99 i can write as 0.1 times theta 99 plus point whatever times v98 now v98 you can write in terms of v97 and so on okay so you keep on doing this ab jab v99 ko yahan pe likhoge ek bada sa bracket banaoge sab kuch uske andar aayega so you will keep on bracketing so this will basically result in 0.1 times theta 100 0.1 into 0.9 times theta 99 0.1 into 0.9 square times theta 98 0.9 cube 0.94 and that is where we are getting this 1 upon 1 minus beta kind of thing okay so this is exponentially weighted averages that means are you giving equal weightage to all these 10 days now no the history that was just before today was given more weightage compared to the day before that day and more that day was given so any history that was let's say n days ago was given more weightage than n plus 1 days ago right and then we keep on doing this so finally this is the gradient descent version right repeat v theta equal to beta v theta plus so this is what we had written as well we had written it for both w's and b's right questions here does this make sense yes. see what we are doing is acha ye karne ki zarurat kyon padi and dekho there are i don't know tens twenties hundreds of variants of gradient descent now add a grad add a boost rms prop adam more that i don't know xgb boost is gradient descent i i don't know ha huh? kya no but i don't know if it changes gradients like for gradient descent in any way i don't know that All right, chalo. Ha? <coughs> huh? Okay. Done? All right. So then we quickly go over. So I am not going to uh, go to this bias thing. Gradient descent with momentum. 
these are the equations we had written and now you understand these equations much better right so these are the equations ek bar idhar dekh lo bhai these are the equations we had written so we are computing vdw instead of updating on grade j we are updating on vdw now that takes history as well as my current gradient that's it okay so these are the equations i had written 